And hopefully this will just look at it. I want to make sure I say it right. United Black Community on Instagram. Go follow them right now. And let's play the clip, man. Let's go. And hopefully this is my last statement on Kanye and anti-Semitism, but I feel like it won't be. But this is what I wrote. Jews are 2.4% of the population, but 35% of the Forbes 400. African Americans are 13.6% of the population, but only 0.5% of the Forbes 400. Yeah, Instead of listening to the wealthiest and most outspoken black man in the media about the issues he has with potentially racist and stultifying Jews in the industry, which is what going death con three on Jewish people translates to in Ebonics, he is completely excoriated. 92% of U.S. Jews identify as white. Israel is known to suffer from intense racial discrimination against its Arab Arab Mizrahi in Ethiopian communities. To destroy the life of a black man who says he's going to speak up about the oppression African Americans face from white capitalist owners is insanely racist and problematic. I wish Abraham Joshua Heschel was alive today to deal with this. What I think he would do is meet with Kanye and allow him to air his grievances and acknowledge the problematic power imbalance between Jews and African Americans in media and African American society. He would encourage Jews and their allies to take what Kanye says to heart and to see this as a renewed call to anti-racism in all of our society, to support African Americans in their quest to have a seat at the table, and for Jewish people to help African Americans get there. Remember, Jewish Americans have an average net worth of $150,890, and African Americans have an average net worth of $24,000. Beating on Kanye for talking about that only reveals your racism. Have a nice day. Leave it. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash, the bonus of the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutation to the Akiyam pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole four like around the globe. All right, just wanted to share that clip. I'm going to. You know, Amalekite, uh, Esau himself, you know, making the statements. Because, you know, well, when Esau says it, that's when Jake listens, okay? Make, pointing out those facts, the the numbers, the figures, you know, and, and, and what it is. Because of what's happening, if you kept your eyes on the news with this so-called Kanye situation and, and now Kyrie Irving being suspended, all right, for just posting sharing a post of a movie all right for an amazon movie at that so if they're boycotting and then they have such a problem why don't they go to the source and and try to boycott or, or cancel J jeff bezos for it being on his platform but nonetheless you know the, these devils are revealing themselves showing exactly who who could be spoken about and who can't all right and what through their actions like goldman sachs uh, like, like JP Morgan dropping Kanye right from their bank that his money was no good there but yet they kept Jeffrey Epstein's <laughs> right in the same bank with allegations and everything that was going on against him you know with the so-called pizza gay and the and the pedo ring all right that that it showed all these influential Edomites and Jake that had been in and out of Epstein Island but yet they kept his money, okay? So it's just so showing that we're leading into a time of more of your rights being done away with. People are simple and can't tell that this is going to lead up to now you can't have your so-called freedom of speech, which we, we've been, brother, brothers known that we've already been in the censoring of this word, okay? But now that all truth is coming to light, they're trying to crack down on it even heavier because ultimately who they want to remove from from these uh, from these corners and, and from these airwaves is the prophets all right the people that are waking up the rest of the masses the hundred forty four thousand putting in that work using this internet as a tool okay but you know they're gonna throw in their controlled opposition and their puppet celebrities to stir up the pot just so they could bring in the order they believe in order out of chaos so they'll go ahead and spark up the chaos just so they could bring in the order and what these devils ultimately want to do is bring a social credit score 
just the same way that they have it implemented in China, that if you say anything against the government or certain peoples, you know, you're going to be so-called canceled, have your assets seized, your bank accounts frozen, all right, and they try to cut you off from society, that's why... The MOTB is such a critical part because they want society to run on that MOTB. And once you act up or they're trying to cut you off all right, from your rations, from your financial situation, from your mortgage, whatever it may be, you know, they'll just shut off your MOTB, which we know is the CHIP found in Revelation, the 13th chapter. And we got to spell shit out and say it in different ways because of the mass censoring that's going on. OK, your rights have been depleting and, and being done away with for the last 10 years and, and, and even beyond that. But now even more so. All right. Leading into the NWO. So Psalm 73 and 5 says they are not in trouble as other men. All right. These damn Edomites, uh, their their offenses and, and the fact that they've came into power by rape, rob, murder, deceit. OK, that can't be spoken about or it's called so-called anti-S. All right. So. Their dirty laundry has it gets neatly tucked away and not spoken about, and it's frowned upon, and you get canceled if you dare mention it. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. All right, the same thing that you see with a lot of our women that you know, since they never have to take any accountability and uh, and every bad decision that they make is catered to. All right. Pride compasses them about and they walk around with the with that nose held up high at you. Well, how much more these devils that for centuries have been in power, they believe that they murdered the son of the Lord, which they did, but they think that they murdered him for good, and there's not a recompense, and there's not the, the chickens coming home to roost, so to speak. All right. And they don't even want to hear it. They don't even want to be told. And they want whoever is speaking about it to be silenced and censored so it doesn't get to other ears. But what these dummies don't understand that this is the Lord's program. And he said that the, <laughs> the truth will come to light. OK, and that this word was not going to go out void and it's going to reach that which it will accomplish and that this word can't be contained. So. These devils and their and their scrambling is futile, okay? But that's why they're so proud. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment, all right? They wear violence like, a, like we put on a shirt, okay? That's them and violence. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish, all right? These devils don't need more money, don't need no more land, don't need more, no more resources. They have everything. And yet what they want to do is take you, your very soul, your very temple. That's the whole point of the MOTB campaign and all roads leading to the CHIP because this devil wants to brand you as his property. The same way that you brand cattle, that's how this devil wants to brand the people, especially the children of Israel. So their power forsakes them. But the the elect aren't going to be deceived and they can't be plucked out of the Lord's hand. Ver, verse eight, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. All right. So my man Kyrie Irving just shared a post from uh, of, uh, and, uh, of a documentary entitled From Hebrews to Negroes. All right jam-packed with facts you know I, I haven't watched the whole thing but i've heard about it from brothers i encourage brothers to watch it i want to watch it myself hopefully before they take it off the air okay and uh, just the fact that we telling our people who they are they're calling that anti-s all right so that's why they are corrupt and they speak wickedly concerning oppression so the, they went on to cancel my man the same way that Kanye got canceled from a bunch of endorsements. He got dropped from Adidas, from Def Jam. His his good music label got dropped from Def Jam. All right, Balenciagas dropped them. Okay. <clears throat> now the same thing is happening with Kyrie Irving. They're demonizing him, trying to the um suspend his Nike 
deal. He had a he had a, a sneaker that was supposed to be coming out. It's not going to be coming out no more. You know, he got fined pretty much half a million dollars. They're calling it a donation towards some fund because this, however this devil could fork his tongue, he will. Okay. And he's suspended from five games. Okay. All for just posting the same way we share endless things, but they don't want these people in a spotlight. They have a platform. Okay, that could shed some light on something to be speaking like that. They want them to be good little boys and girls and stay in their line. That's why they have gatekeepers like this fool, this Mason, Charles Barkley, and and this other sellout um Shaq. All right, to to talk shit and to speak out of the to speak out the brother outside his name and everything, calling him an idiot, calling him a fool. All right, just because he wanted to share with his people. Especially in in this highly racial political climate, all right, that who we really are. But God forbid you do that, you know, you're gonna be demonized and, and called the T word, you know, and the, you're you're a a a, a T rarest. <laughs> it's just the censoring is ridiculous, all right. So we gotta be wise, be visual, all right, because our adversary, the devil, is seeking whom he may destroy. Okay, and that's exactly what he's doing. They're corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily, all right? Like, don't you dare speak on that boy, okay? They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. The way their tongue has walketh through the earth is these lies, all right? The manipulation, the deception from the whitewashing to the, the, re, the re, re, rewriting history, okay? putting themselves as some people that they're not imposters all right and if you speak on it you know you're going to be removed therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them okay this devil's going to pay for what he's done all right for the deception all right and the, the scriptures say the thief John 10 and 10, these are the words of Yahweh Shah himself in red. The thief cometh not but for to steal, okay? Has not, is not what these devils done, stolen everything from the Caribbeans, North, Central, and South America, okay? The whole Western Hemisphere and all across the world, they, they set up their army bases, okay? Because the thief has cometh but to f steal and to kill, all right? And if you don't get down, he'll, he'll raid you, grape pillage you, all right? To steal and to kill. The thief, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yeah, he always wants to play like he's the peacekeepers and he's there for good. But no, these devils have an agenda. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, right? So the Lord is the one that brings us life in more abundance. These devils are trying to get us to deny the Lord and, and, and accept their ways, which is to get us destroyed, is to kill us, is to steal our sovereignty, okay? So we got to be careful with these devils because... The wicked is all about lies, all right? And we got to be wise and keep our eyes out of this oil to be able to see the truth from the lies. That's why it's so important to have spiritual discernment because these devils are great liars, okay? All right? Psalms 58 and 3, it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right? And so these devils have established a whole kingdom and an empire based on lies. All right? Do, do your research how they even overtook the state of, of you know, I-S-R-A-E-L. Okay? The wicked are estranged. Let's go into that word for estranged from the Hebrew word zor. To be strange, be a stranger, to become estranged, strange, another, foreigner. All right. That's why he's outside the temple. He's profane because he's estranged. 
He's not of us. Okay? The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. All right? They got that spirit of Cain, the first murderer. Okay? And they will murder your character. They will slander you because that's what devils mean. Diablo's false accuser. Okay? So... This is all just a test, and the Lord is going to seal his elect. Those that are meant to wake up will wake up, and those that are meant to stay in gross darkness will stay in gross darkness. But at, at a time like this, when light has encompassed the earth, okay, and truth is out, there is not going to be any excuse, and they're not going to have any cloak for their sins now, because the word has reached the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come, okay? So those that want to side with this devil, want to demonize our people, not know what's going on, you know, they're going to be dealt with. Because the, the words of the Lord don't go out void, okay? Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth. Out of my mouth, how, the, how are the words going forth out of the Lord's mouth? Out of this book, the Bible, which is the word of God, right? And through the prophets relaying the message, okay? So we have the Heavenly Father with us, and those that deny us, deny Him, all right? Because we're, we're bringing out the words of the Lord unadulterated, uncorrupted. That's where this original red pill comes from, with this manosphere, community of men trying uh, getting their balls back waking up to women's bullshit all right same thing with, with these artists and celebrities that are, have came across the truth because the truth has engulfed the earth and then they want to speak on it but because they're not prophets you know they they turn back on their word they they're not grounded in faith so they won't stand wholeheartedly by this truth okay but it's us the real men of the lord that they're watching we don't give a damn about getting canceled. They take down our channels and, and, and pages and posts all the damn time. But the word is not going out void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. All right. So this word goes out. It's going to reach what it has to reach. It has. It's going to go into the ears of whom it has to hear, whom has to hear it for mercy on that person if they repent and do right or for their condemnation if they ignore it or if they want to brush it off if they think nothing of it if they want to demonize it so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it okay so whether it be for good or for evil onto that person, which evil means bad time. The word isn't evil, but it will bring you evil if you if you're evil and you want to be wicked. OK, and you didn't want to repent and you didn't want to take heed. OK, you got to you, you will pay for the fact that you heard this word and you did do, didn't do what you needed to do about it. OK, so, you know, that that's all I'll touch on. And the fact that serious um, censorship is happening, that's the whole point of the, these um, blatant attacks on free speech, okay? And we got to watch as well as pray on the scriptures, how it says in Esdras, we got to measure the time diligently in itself, all right? We got to say that the mass doing away of free speech is for the purpose of censoring the truth, right? And it's going to get worse as the days approach and this devil comes down with his great wrath all right so with that i pray brothers and the few sisters was edified till next time shalom all honor love glory and praise to yahweh b'hashem yahushai b'hashem rakakwatash all right stay wise stay vigilant shalom